I'm going to tell you about three things for digital businesses to look for in 2016. The first is a proposed new framework for online platforms. The second, a proposed new framework for internet intermediaries. And the third, a proposal concerning website geo-blocking. Online platforms, what's going on? Well, there's currently a wide-ranging consultation being run by the European Commission about the role of online platforms in the economy and in society and the appropriate rules and regulations regarding them. So who's this relevant to? The answer is lots and lots of digital businesses. Search engines, online marketplaces, video and music sharing platforms, app stores, social networks, the collaborative economy, a whole range of businesses. Let me tell you more. Well, there are two main themes. One is transparency and the other is relationships. For transparency, it's the transparency of, for example, the collection and use of users' personal data. Transparency of the presentation of information, in particular search results. And on the relationship side of things, the relationships of the online platforms with their suppliers and providers, with their consumers, and importantly, with those who hold rights in digital content. That brings me on to internet intermediaries. As part of the same consultation, the European Commission is also looking at whether the hosting, mere conduit and caching defences remain fit for purpose. So by that I mean the storage of unlawful content and allowing it to pass through your networks. Who's this relevant to? Again, lots and lots of businesses, social networks, search engines, any websites which host user-generated content, and of course, also very relevant to rights holders. Let me tell you some more. Well, one of the main themes that seems to be emerging is that the Commission appears to be considering actively restricting or at least redefining the hosting defence in some way. They're looking uh, as well at whether a duty of care ought to be imposed in relation to certain categories of illegal content. They're also reviewing the notice and takedown procedure and considering whether new categories of intermediaries should be established beyond the existing categories of hosts, caches and mere conduits. Now on to geo-blocking. This is another consultation the Commission is running uh, and I should clarify up front here, I'm not talking about watching Netflix or BBC iPlayer when you're on holiday in a different country. That's a quite separate topic which the Commission is looking at separately. Here I'm talking about the lack of ability for consumers based in one European country to buy goods and services from a website located in a different European country. Who is this relevant to? Well, essentially it's relevant to any digital business which currently blocks access to its website or denies consumers the possibility of buying goods and services from their site or indeed reroutes consumers to a separate national website for that consumer. Just to take an example, it might be a, say, an online clothing retailer which is based in Germany and only allows German consumers to buy um, from its website. So when is all this happening? Well, the consultations are taking place right now at the end of 2015. They're going to close in December. And uh, we expect the Commission to then report on the outcome of those consultations in the first half of next year, following which there will be some legislative proposals for consideration. So in summary, lots and lots of changes potentially taking place which could affect a whole range of different players in the digital field, so watch this space.